Hi. Hi. I'm Dan Folkman from uh, Milwaukee. We've got a neighborhood news service. Joy is my partner here. She's from uh, Racine right now. Hi, Dan. We're live streaming on Facebook and Twitter. Say a few words, who you are, why you're here, and what do you hope to accomplish? Um, my name is Lori Hawkins. I'm a board member with Ford Kenosha. I'm their newest one, and I'm here to represent everyone who's here tonight, who's come out to show the support that we all can combine as a huge voice to say that Paul Ryan isn't doing his job for us. And I'm also here tonight to support Planned Parenthood. I'm a Planned Parenthood advocate. Let's get the sign. I actually wanted to talk to Paul Ryan about Planned Parenthood and his wanting to defund it and um, because when I was 26 Planned Parenthood caught a health emergency that would have prevented me from having children and they moved quick and I was able to have children. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, I went even to Washington DC to talk to him and my daughter came with me, my 14 year old daughter, because she wanted to say Paul Ryan if it wasn't for Planned Parenthood I wouldn't be here. Right. But um, he didn't see us. So I'm here tonight to say that, you know, there are very few places for Medicaid patients to go for reproductive health care. And Racine, if Planned Parenthood goes away, there's no other option. So I just think it's really important that everyone understands what's at stake here. And what Terrence said is right. If you don't vote, your voice is silenced and it's your fault for silencing it. So we need to we need to be heard and use the rights that we have in this country to keep it great. Fantastic. Let me ask you a question. All right. You said you're with Ford, Wisconsin. Ford Kenosha. Ford Kenosha. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people are saying, yeah, you know, it's great to protest and show up and show your signs. Yeah. They say, but, but what's really happening? Say a few words about, about what your organization is doing, how it's working, and how the organization that's going on behind the scenes is going to really make a difference. Well, I, you know, I think election night in November changed a lot of our lives. I know my husband and I, we live in Bristol, Wisconsin, so it's western Kenosha County. That evening, we looked at each other and said, we're done hoping for the best. We're done just being, you know, thinking good thoughts. And um, we started a small indivisible group that night called Left of the Eye. And um, we met, our first meeting was um, inauguration night in January. And then we found out about Ford Kenosha, which had started before us, and we wanted to be a part of something bigger. So I went to the first meeting and there was maybe 75 people there, and now we have 2,000 members. 2,000 so, members. So I know that people are feeling how I did election night, like enough. We need to, you know, I grew up kind of having everything be pretty much okay. You know, scary things would happen here and there, but we kind of all got complacent, and I feel that the good that's come out of this time so far is that we're all saying, what can I do? And we're seeing a lot of people stepping up, and they're here, and. We had a, a, a beautiful vigil um, in, in the wake of Charlottesville last week, and we had a couple hundred people there. So I think this is the start, start of something great in spite of all that's not right. great right and now. And we're building momentum for 2018. Yes, Very absolutely. Right, well, thank you so much. Yeah. All right.